Okay gang, welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy with another video. We're going to be doing another airship abilities video. So, the best way to set up your airship abilities. Well, here we're going to be setting it up from our um, setting up with our March of Fury, so March capacity. I'm going to go to the Guardian ability of Infantry Cover 2, Infantry versus Cavalry Damage Reduction, and Infantry Defense. Then we're also going to have the Battlefield Treatment and Troop Health, Survivor Seeker. Distance Devastation 2, which is going to give us Distance versus Infantry Damage, which is a good stat to have. Helps your distance kill the infantry, opposing infantry, as well as just a straight up Distance Attack stat. We're going to have Infantry Cover 1, which is going to be Infantry versus damage uh, Distance Damage Reduction, as well as Infantry Health. Great stat to have protects your in infantry from the enemy's distance troops. And we're also going to have Cavalry Cannons 1, which is Cavalry versus Infantry Damage and Cavalry Attack. Then we're going to have Cavalry Cannons 3, which is Cavalry versus Distance Damage and Cavalry Damage. And we're going to have Distance Devastation 3, Distance Damage and Distance versus Cavalry Damage. Now if you notice, my skills don't go in order from strongest to least strongest on the right. What you can do is, let's say you have a lower level airship. So with your airship parts, you'll notice some of these abilities are at unlocked based on your airship's ability. So you would want to put your stronger ability with the airship part that gives you something that you care about. Like with this Epic Gold Bearings 3, which is health. The first stat that you unlock is infantry health. Then you get cavalry health at a higher level, higher skill level, and then distance health at the highest level. Well, distance health, we've talked about this, doesn't really matter. It's not that good of a stat. So, what I recommend is I recommend that you will put one of your weaker uh, airship abilities under uh, above this health so that you can maximize the good benefits that you get out of it whereas you put your strongest ability under a stat like this where you need that distance attack plus 61 percent um and it's the same situation like that with just about everything else you know you want to set that up with all of your other airship parts so let's go ahead and enhance our parts let's try to see if we can't get another airship part upgraded All right, now we have 7,150. Let's see what kind of upgrades we could do. 3,600. Wow, 50 shy. So let's see if we can't go over to the creation, exchange it, and get some more airship parts. And they're all locked. So I need to get up to level 4. So let's go ahead and complete that. Alright. Thank you all for watching. I hope this answered anyone's questions uh, on just basic airship abilities. Another thing we can take a look at with this airship parts wise is upgrading your airship parts you can also upgrade them to the platinum and this requires you to have the little plates that you have to purchase um, and that will take you to an even higher uh, power level 